<laughs> Hi, you guys. Um, we are going to be putting the produce away that we washed and dried um, at the event, and I haven't done that yet, so I thought maybe you guys would be interested in watching me do that. So, um, anyways, we're going to start with the strawberries in a jar. So, um, we're going to take the dry strawberries that have been washed. Um, they normally lay out on a towel, not in the colander. That was just how we brought them home. And we put, I lay them down carefully in a jar. I normally try to grab the biggest, best ones to put at the very bottom. When you're jumping on, be sure to let us know where you're from. If there's any that have bruises, then I'll put them in an extra or a small little bowl and put it next to the jar just so we eat them first. And just put the perfect ones in the jar. One fruit we haven't done that was a question was dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. We don't really get dragon fruit in the Pacific Northwest. Um, California, Ottawa, Ontario, hey. Canada, Kentucky. Sorry you guys, we, we thought we were live on time, but we realized we were on the wrong account. So <laughs> um, luckily we realized <laughs> that we were on a different account and um, switched over. So if you're just joining us, um, Thank you for sticking around. Okay, so I'm gonna set the strawberries in here, just like this with the stems on. So these have already been washed and dried. And um, actually, sometimes I would move it down to a smaller Ooh, jar. Cheyenne, Wyoming, Got Alabama. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> that we, um, I can move it down to a smaller jar too. I have like half gallon sized jars. This is a gallon sized jar, but for right now I'm just gonna leave it in this. Um, and then I write the date on it. Dra dragon fruit and uh, pomegranate is another Ooh, one. Ooh, we got pomegranates. They're in season. Okay, so I would put a lid on it. It's over there. So, lid on in the refrigerator. Now, tomorrow, if I had any condensation on this, I would take the lid off and let it air out for a couple hours um, in the refrigerator. Or if there was a lot of con condensation because I was in a rush and didn't put them away correctly, um, then I would take them out and lay them back out on a towel and wipe the um, jar out and put a new towel in and then put the lid back on um, after they were dry. So. Um, anyways, this is how I store them. After that first day or two, then you don't have to worry about the condensation. It should last um, like a full two to three weeks. Ready? So let's look for, I'm going to go over here and grab jars. I didn't grab any quart size jars. This is a half gallon. That's not what I use. I'm going to grab this one. Gallon size, half gallon. I don't always put a paper towel at the bottom of grapes, but these look a little damp still. And um, I had washed them, and I had broke them into little sections. It's on that very first video from Friday night, um, how I washed them. And then we had just thrown them in this colander and thrown them in the fridge, because I was lazy the other night, I'm being honest. Oops, I dropped the grape. Okay, so they're just going in sections in the jar. I feel a wrinkly one. I'm just going to take that wrinkly one off. Everywhere from Maine to New York, whoop, whoop. California. Whoop, whoop. Do you use a paper towel for celery? No, just berries and greens. Well, and sometimes grapes. That one has a cobweb on it. I'm just going to take that one. Somebody's excited they made it to this one. Yay! I'm excited we realized what account it was on and switched over. <laughs> Pennsylvania. So I normally keep them on the stems when I wash them. These ones that are just... Nova uh, Scotia. Loose in there. I'm just going to throw in a bowl. Arizona. Arizona in the house. Ooh, fresh cranberries. Ooh, I have cranberries in the freezer. I bought them and put them in the freezer, and then that way they're good until Thanksgiving, and I don't have to worry about them because I'm going to cook them anyways. Texas and Australia. Australia? Would you mind repeating how you wash the berries? Ooh, I will. I will repeat it. Um, but there's a whole video on me washing all of the fruit. 
Um, so I use a large bowl that holds um, 10 cups of water. Okay, these are all the, I'll go back to that. These are all the grapes that weren't on the stem, so I'm just gonna keep those separate. Um, I use a large bowl um, that holds 10 cups of water and a quarter cup of distilled white vinegar. Um, in the United States, it's the 5% vinegar. In Australia, it's the 4.5% vinegar. And um, it's not the 7%. The 7% is for like cleaning like showers, not cleaning your produce. Um, and what was the other question? Was there another question? Ask your questions. It makes it so much easier for me. Just bug me with questions. I'm going to sneak over here and grab a bowl or a plate. Whatever this is. Still has writing on it. There we go. Okay. The blueberries can go in a jar, but I always put them in a splat um, container. And this summer, when um, Jordan Page had um, shared my blueberries that were lasting a month, I normally only let them last a month, and we make sure that we eat them in time for the next time we go. But I like marked it with an X and told everybody not to eat them and um, was going to see how long they lasted. They actually lasted eight weeks um, and didn't get moldy. Um, around seven weeks was like the peak of them. By eight weeks, we still ate them, but they were starting to wrinkle. Um, and I just kind of lay them out and make sure there's no damp spots. And I put a paper towel at the bottom. But it totally works in a jar. This is just where I like to store them in the refrigerator. I like it to be a flat container. So we're going to do this. Like that. Okay. So anybody have questions about... Grapes, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries. These Any type of ones. berries. Any berries. Mike's over there taking notes. You gotta look at the screen. And um, oh. I know. <laughs> any berry questions? So the raspberries, I don't have any with me. We ate them. Um, but when you're drying them, make sure that you dry them with the whole side down. Um, and I normally do them on a plate so you can move them around easier. Um, but not laying on their side, on the whole side, um, facing down. Does it matter if you use organic fruit or regular fruit? No. I normally buy organic, but it doesn't matter which one. And how long do they last? Ooh. Okay, so strawberries normally last three weeks from when you pick them. And this summer, uh, we were picking them up at the farm that were fresh picked that morning. And so we were actually getting them to last 40 to 45 days. But strawberries in the wintertime are different than strawberries in the summertime. So if you're getting them to last two to three weeks in the wintertime, fall, winter, that is really good. And in the United States, you have to remember that strawberries only come from Southern California and Florida. So um, it depends on how long it took to to ship to you and how long they've been in the store. But um, when you bring them home, if they were fresh and you do it the way that I'm telling you to and wash the condensation, they should last the whole three weeks grocery shopping trip. And then how long do you dry them again? Ooh, around four hours. So I normally go grocery shopping that day and then wash them when I get home and then make dinner and then later in the evening um, when everything's quiet, then I organize my fridge and put everything away. And then what was the deal with the stems on the strawberries? You leave them on? Ooh, I do leave the stems on for the first two weeks. And then normally that last week when we're like getting ready to go to the grocery store, then I will cut them up and um, put them in smaller pieces. So we use them for um, waffles or pancakes or whatever instead of fresh eating. Um, we taught the littles to hold it by the green and eat the red so I don't have to cut them all the time. Um, they're old enough to, to figure that out, or once they're old enough to figure that out, they could, they could do that. And it's a color lesson for toddlers to hold it by the green and eat the red. And um, when you slice them and put, make them smaller, you don't have to have the um, paper towel in it because they're just going to start getting juicy. Um, and they last another week after you um, slice them up. So if you slice them up from the beginning, they're only going to last a week. If you leave the stems on, they'll last the two weeks and then the extra week of them sliced. And then if we, we always get spinach and strawberries every time we go to the store every three weeks, 
even if we have some left over from the last three week grocery shopping trip. And those are two items that we use in smoothies all the time. So if I have any extra, then I'll throw those in the freezer in a, a plastic bag or a silicone stasher bag. And then that way, those are the first ones that we use for our smoothies. So for, for here in Washington mm -hmm. state, what is our average grocery budget? So, um, I, that's funny. Okay. In Washington state, we normally spend, I normally spend between 80 and a hundred dollars a month on produce and then it lasts the whole month. And then, um, I don't know how much I'm going to talk about this, but we spend $500 a month on, um, on groceries and a hundred dollars of that is produce. But we also believe in a long-term um, pantry and long-term food storage. So if I have extra left in the budget, then I'm working towards um, putting things in the freezer for longer term. And those are things that we're going to be talking more about um, on Patreon, about our long-term food storage and what we keep um, to keep food in the house for a year. All right. And then if I get home late from the grocery store, can I put my berries in the refrigerator and process them the next day? You can. But if there's anything moldy in there, then it's going to just keep contaminating the other berries. So I always say that phrase, you know, the one bad apple, you know, ruins a whole bushel. So um, you might only have one bad berry that's in there in the middle that you didn't see that first night. And by the next day, you have five that you need to throw away. And if you're anything like me, like you put something in, you put something away once, and then the next day turns into two days, turns into a week, and then you're like, oh, I didn't even do it. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, our lettuce was washed um, Friday night, and then I didn't do anything with it. I, we literally threw it in the fridge. And um, normally my lettuce will last a month and won't look like this. <laughs> so um, this is what happens when you do get tired and don't want to do it or stay up all night answering questions because you're excited. But, yeah, so this is lettuce, but I did this on purpose to show you guys. I can go back to any very questions you guys have, but I got sidetracked, so I do that. But anyways, about an hour ago, or an hour and a half ago, when I said I was going to go on live, I was like, hmm, I wonder. So this is the lettuce that we left in the fridge overnight, and then I cut the ends off just to see. I don't normally store it this way. I was just curious. And this has been in water um, for an hour and a half. Yeah, like an hour and a half. So I wish you filtered water, but it's totally, like totally firm again. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the water, this one. I'm gonna cut the ends off, throw it in the chicken bowl, and then I'm gonna put it in water and see, let's see what happens in a little bit. But this was washed Friday night and just thrown in the fridge, literally in the colander. It didn't have anything on it. It wasn't in a bowl. It wasn't anything. So I'm just going to see. See? We'll see how it looks in a while. So if you're just tuning in, tell us where you're from and any questions you might have. And how you found us. I was like, yeah, how'd you, how'd you stumble across the Cross Legacy? I did too. because we always use filtered water otherwise it's going to taste like city water so anyways if you're just tuning in I don't normally do this I normally just put it straight in a container but I wanted to see if this will fix it like it fixes the strawberries and the um, celery mm. or not strawberries the carrots and the celery so speaking of this and um, this is how I normally do the broccoli and let me grab the other one after washing with vinegar, do you rinse with fresh water before drying? Yeah. Uh, well, it depends on what it is. Sometimes I can't get this out. So Vermont found you from Instagram. Okay, so the broccoli, we did the same thing. We had just thrown it in a bowl and didn't do anything with it. So it's washed and it's like totally limp. Like that. 
I had two of them and I put this, I trimmed the end and I put it back in and it seems to be firming up a little bit, maybe not as much as the celery did, maybe it needs, or the lettuce did, maybe it needs a little bit more time. But I'm going to put this in a jar too and see if we can firm it back up. Tri-Cities. Tri-Cities, hmm. Does anyone I know? We might know them. We, we might, might know them. them. We um, put water in that one too. Yep. Uh, people are like, I only, I honestly forgot uh, how I found you, uh, <laughs> but you piqued my interest with fruit in a mason jar in the fridge. That was probably why. We gained 65,000 followers from a post that went viral um, around the world. Craziness. I'm sure right. in a jar. Okay, give me some oh, water for this. Ooh, so many from TikTok. TikTok? Okay, so if you're just tuning in, this broccoli doesn't normally look like this. This is what happens when you just store it in the fridge after um, you get home and you're lazy with it. Normally I put it in a glass of water like this, and it, um, it will keep it fresh for two to three weeks. So I did trim, no, I didn't trim the end off of this one. Um, I'm going to trim the, em off, trim the end off and make sure it's touching the water. And then I'll put those in the refrigerator when I get done. Um, the cauliflower, I normally get it out of the plastic right away and I break off any of the extra leaves that are on. I broke off a bunch um, at the demonstration, which that replay live, all two hours of it, is um, on my feed. It looks like it's a double post, but it's actually part one and part two of it. And um, so I break off the, the leaves. I don't know why I do this, I just do it. And I just put it in my crisper drawer like this without the plastic on it and it seems to last around two weeks. Um, sometimes three weeks. Chicken pull. Okay. Questions? So in your membership, yeah. do you go over staples that you have in your pantry, also grocery budget tips? Yes, yes. Um, in Patreon, we're going to go more into our single ingredient item long-term storage um, and what I keep on hand and how I store it um, to keep it safe and recipes based off of those pantry items so you always have meals that you can cook um, just based off of those pantry items if there was like a grocery store um, issue or something and then um, we also do live calls with just me and the members um, and they can show me pictures of their fridge in those calls and I can give them tips um, about what they should move around or what could be stored better. Um, and also we do in Patreon only. If somebody has like an allergy to something that's in a recipe, I can try to break it down and change it to help them figure out um, how to um, still prepare something with their allergy. Because um, we're an allergy family, I've been doing that for a long time to figure out um, what needs to be made. And, um, oh, and you get to be a part of a Facebook group that is only for Patreon members, so you guys can build friendships and connections, and um, I'm in there a lot every day, so um, I get to know you guys better. Just not answering questions, but know you guys. So Yelm, Washington, Ontario, Canada. Yelm. And then um, a couple, so so far some of the some of the vegetables we don't haven't talked about yet are dragon fruit, rhubarb, kiwi, and then the um, and then celery and avocado we've talked about before, but okay. there's some new ones. So I'm just trying to take some notes some so we notes. can maybe do a future post on on some of these. On some of those, what other ones do I have? Celery here. Let me talk about celery. Tell me that list one more time. Yeah, celery's on here. Yeah, but what was the list? We give me the list. Oh, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit, celery, rhubarb, kiwi, avocado. Rhubarb. That's funny. We don't normally store rhubarb that often. We live in the rhubarb capital of the world. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Literally, there is a festival in our town. Portugal. In, in July um, for rhubarb. So um, normally I will get that out of the um, garden because we have some in the garden that are just massive and just use them fresh or I clean them like I do celery which I'll talk about celery in a second and then I will slice them up and put them in the freezer so we can use them later. I'm going to grab the lettuce tub and then come back. Then real quick yeah. the the two live videos we did before that were one hour each uh, we, 
there is the there's they're available on Instagram. You can go through there, search through like cilantro. We did lettuce, blueberries, grapes. We did all the stuff, talked in depth Avocados. about vinegar. So, and that's just on Instagram. You can go and check out parts one and part two. Who do you want? Cut salad for salads? We do that. Let's do that. See, if I cut it up, then he eats salads more for lunch. Well, yeah, what's your trick for bananas? <laughs> Ooh, bananas. Okay. That's a fun one. Oh, something I forgot to say on the video the other night. I'm going to say that first in case people have watched both of them, is don't store your bananas and your um, apples near each other. They are, um, they will make each other ripen faster. So um, that is a trick to remember forever. I just used to always um, throw the bananas on top of the apples. So um, that alone helps a lot. And then I normally buy organic bananas that have the little um, seal on the end. And that seal, try to, as you're um, using the bananas, try to keep that on there. And that helps preserve them longer. So it's better to buy bananas that are a little bit more expensive that have that seal on the end um, that help preserve, preserve them. I'm going to let these just rehydrate. But normally I would fill this up all the way. And then I have this little salad container drawer that I'll show you. I can show you right now. And then what was... Uh, before the end of the video, salad mix, like like a, a bag bag oh, salad. A bag of salad mix. I, I kind of just stopped buying them um, for salad mixes because they just don't last very long. Um, and you don't know how long they've been in the store. So if I do this um, with the lettuce and just cut it up, then I'll grab the salad stuff. But if I, if I do this with the lettuce, then it lasts like all week. And then the lettuce um, not cut up will last like almost a month. Um, when I lay it out just in here. Let me grab some stuff out of the fridge. And there's our fridge. You may have, may have seen it. May have. Let me just move these. Okay. We call this the salad basket. Salad basket, one of my favorites. The salad basket. So I normally, a lot of these aren't kind of like this right now. Um, peppers, um, sliced up will last like a week to 10 days. So I normally put them in strips and then and then Mike's the one that's normally making his salad and so then he could just cut them up smaller. And the radishes do last longer if they're whole. Um, so normally I have one that's um, the full size and then some that are sliced. Um, but those aren't sliced yet. Uh, your cupboards are so aesthetically pleasing. Right? We've been in a kitchen remodel for nine months. Hey, good, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Mm -hmm. um, nine months. Okay, okay, enough about... Uh, but thank you. I've dreamed about this kitchen for 18 years, and we just got it two months ago. Um, what, do you store cabbage on the counter? Oh, well, look how huge that is. Isn't that crazy? It's like huge. Like, I don't even have. Here's the head of. Look at how huge that is. Like, that huge. cauliflower compared yeah. to that. Yeah, normally I don't, but that is not going to fit in my fridge. Um, but they can stay in a root cellar all winter. Um, yeah, so that I'm going to make sauerkraut out of, and I'm going to make a video and some cabbage rolls. Um, but it was massive, and my daughter just thought it was hilarious and had to get it. She got one last year, too, when we went um, to the pumpkin patch. Okay. Hello, so, Ireland. Ireland. That's cool. Is uh, that something from a vlog club? Um, anyways, this is the container that fits. It's like an acrylic basket, and it fits up on my top shelf. So when you're measuring, our fridge is a counter depth and a 10-inch um, acrylic tub fits in there and it fits um, either quartz or um, well, these are pint and a half but quartz pints like six jars in it so I always keep this kind of, of easy grab things um, for salads or different things that I have cut up these are leeks people keep asking me about leeks um, that's just the bottom part of them and then these are the tomatoes that we still had left over from last time 
See that little bit of condensation? That's okay. Um, you'll see that a little bit when you're filling with your strawberries and stuff. Listen to the pop. There we go. So that's not a big deal, but if you have like really wet things with your um, with your strawberries especially, then um, make sure you're wiping them out. So these are actually like a month old. The new ones are in there from the other night. Let's see. On oh, the lettuce. I'm so the so this kale is from last month so this is how i normally stir the lettuce too there's a piece of paper at the bottom i always talk about this paper towel paper towel yes i always talk about this i always check in there because it freaks me out but um, <laughs> and i'm checking for bugs i'm checking for bugs everybody always asks me what are you checking for i'm checking for bugs but when i lay the lettuce when it's in a full um leaf instead of laying them this way i lay them down like this um, so that the water doesn't collect in the stem. It's easier to explain with a, with a leaf. So I normally say I do it like an umbrella so they dry out and not like a boat and that will collect water and then it'll make your stem all brown. So that is my trick with that. And when I store the lettuce like this, I have a couple here that are just turning yellow a little bit, but these have been in here for like a month. Um, and I might end up running out of room in the refrigerator. And since I'm not going to eat these fresh, I'm going to end up just cutting the stems off and cut, cutting them smaller and throwing them in the freezer. And then I can have them for a meal um, in the freezer. And when they turn yellow, is there anything you can do? No, they're just turned yellow a little bit. I'm not, I don't think I put it in there like yellow, but it's not moldy or anything. It's just a little yellow. So... Anyway, so these are like a month old. I'll do the same thing with the other lettuce. And this is in the Amazon cart. Um, this is the one that has the chicken um, in it. So when you're looking for the sizes, this is the chicken one. And then all the <laughs> other containers that I have are the Purex, uh, Pyrex um, sets that you can get at Costco. They're, they're also in the Amazon cart too, or the Amazon storefront if you're looking for them. Okay, now questions. Uh, what about Brussels sprouts? Oh, there you go. Where are they? Right. Okay, these Brussels sprouts, see, we're in a great big, like, half gallon when I first started with them. They're from September. Did you hear that? But they're, like, still perfect. So I don't wash them. I just put them in here. And then um, right before I use them, I'll cut the end if they look... Yeah, these are pretty good. If they start to look a little tired, how do you call them? I just, I always trim the end and then take off like the outer two levels, layers of it. And then, then I soak them in salt water for a few minutes before I cook them. But look, September 18th. So, this have been in there since September 18th. Do we have any green beans? I don't have any green beans. So, green beans I do not normally soak. Um because they don't seem to ever dry out. And what about, let's see here. I almost said, what about? What about? What about? What about? <laughs> that is a cheer dad right yeah, there. It's, I uh, have it's funny. What about, <laughs> dang it. What about tomatoes and cucumbers? There we go. We're going to do tomatoes and cucumbers there. Okay. And maybe, maybe there was no, we normally, these are cherry tomato or smaller oh, tomatoes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But what about bigger ones? Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know. There was no. Well, unless you're in Australia, I wouldn't be buying bigger tomatoes right now. <laughs> but I just use it. Well, no, I'm not. But um, I only buy cherry tomatoes and then um, whole tomatoes I get out of the garden um, in the summertime. So I don't normally buy big, large, like garden-sized tomatoes um, through the rest of the year, and. Um, <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> and so those, if I bring them in from the garden, then we just put them on a plate um, here in the kitchen. And then the cherry tomatoes we put in the refrigerator in a jar. So um, normally I use a clean jar. I was just um, not wanting to walk into the other room to go grab one. So. Anyways, so I just put them in here. I do not put a paper towel on them. These were washed um, at the event the other night. So they were washed and dried 
I had just thrown them in there. And then these three that were from before, from like last month, I'm just gonna set them on top. And then that way we grab those first. So that was the last like a month in a jar. Um, and then the celery. Um, it does not celery. That's cucumber. <laughs> Nerves. I'll get used to this. This is like my third time ever. <laughs> third time ever. And third there's some ever. more coming up, maybe. Hmm. Always. <laughs> um, anyways, the um, cucumbers I normally get. I normally buy English cucumbers. I seem to like those the best. Um, different ones like affect your digestion and your like heartburn and like those kind of things. And the English cucumbers seem to help with that, um, which is something I learned from my neighbor growing up who was like a hundred years old. So she could have English cu cucumbers and not any other ones, but, um, they always come in plastic and I always take them right out of the plastic and wash them when I bring them home. And then they normally go in a crisper drawer for the first like two weeks, um, unless I'm trying to fill up this little salad basket that we have but as I cut them I put them in a jar and then they last for like another week in the jar if you leave the skins on them then they'll last a, a little bit longer so if you take the skins off then they only last like three to four days and they don't dry out so don't try to leave them out and uh, no paper towel on those He looks like he has lots of questions. Oh, I'm just scan. It's like it's yeah. I'm I'm still. Okay, I'll talk about. No, no there's one here. One here. Probably a silly question. No questions. Are Should silly. I toss rusty mason jar lid? I can't seem to get it oh, off, no matter yeah. how hard I scrub. Yes. Just toss it. Yeah. You can buy more um, lids and the rings together, or just ask anybody that cans, and we have thousands of them. <laughs> So I have jar, lids coming out my ears, or not lids, um, rings. And but, then, oh, go ahead. okay, I'm going to just talk about the onions real quick. These onions are like two weeks old from when I cut them and put them in here. And um, they don't smell at all. They won't smell in my fridge and they're like totally fresh. So if I cut up an onion, I normally cut up just the whole thing. And then that way it's easier for me to just grab. This actually says... Um, Chocolate chips on it. It's not chocolate <laughs> chips. <laughs> chocolate chips. What about mushrooms? Mushrooms. Okay. So I bought mushrooms yesterday. I did not wash and put in a jar. Do I need a paper towel in the jar? Do not wash them. So I did not wash, Good. but they did put them in a jar. Do I need a paper towel in the jar? I've never... I Yes, if you put them in the jar, I would put a paper towel, but I've never put them in a jar. Normally, you put them in a brown paper bag um, is the suggestion for that, but maybe I need to look at seeing about putting them in the jar, but for sure with a paper towel because that will help collect the moisture. We were laughing about this the other night that I don't really like fresh mushrooms that much, but I love dehydrated mushrooms, and um, so I try to buy, I'll get like the three or four of the big like Costco things of them or if there's like cool seasonal ones that are um, at the farmer's market and I'll dehydrate them but it smells like swamp. It smells so bad. <laughs> My husband's shaking his head. It's so bad like that that 12 hours or whatever you're doing that and then you kind of have to air it out but then they last like I can fill up a whole jar like a whole gallon sized jar of mushrooms and they would last like the whole year but that one day that you're doing it, oh my goodness, but I'll eat them dehydrated as snacks and then you can just throw them in recipes and they rehydrate super fast. I've never really heard of this item, but Swiss chard. Oh, yeah, like a green. Yeah, you would just do it just like the lettuce. So, All right. lettuce and kale. Did Which you... there's a blog post that details the lettuce out and that is at the Cross Legacy. I think it's backslash, backslash washing lettuce. And then did you, you, we've covered celery and carrots for those ones. Well, I mean, not today, but oh, I mean, okay. in the, in the two lot, in the two one hour each lives, we did right. cover celery and carrots before, but it looks like we've got some celery and carrots okay. right now too. And then stems on the grapes after washing them, we leave them, we just cut them into like manageable sizes that you would use. So yes, keep the stems on, but you don't have to keep the... You can just cut them into manageable pieces. Gotcha. Can you use 
plastic mason jar lids or is that a no-no for this? So I cut the grapes like in the size, whatever your family uses is like a serving size. Um, and then for the grapes, these are ones that just fell off the um, top of them when we were washing them and moving them around because we were at somebody else's house doing it. But I feel like they get wet inside if they're off the stem um, when you're washing them. So I try not to take them off the stem. What was the other question? Plastic mason jar lids. Oh, yeah. The, um, the big ones have plastic lids. I don't know. I don't know where they are. Are they right here? So the big gallon size ones, these are in my Amazon cart, um, the storefront, but they have plastic lids um, on them. And then everything else, I use the mason jars, um, or you could use wet jars too. I just, um, I only have two, but those wet jars, I have one right here. I think this is what you mostly would find. This is just one size of them. You would find in Europe is this, this brand. And they don't have rings, they have these little clips. This is from Whitehall Kitchen. I have a coupon code for her. So when we get done with this, if you want something from Whitehall Kitchen, send me a message and say Whitehall Kitchen and I will send you um, the coupon code. But for this brand of glasses or jars, and they have all different sizes, it's this rubber ring that you use and then it has a glass um, lid, which is kind of cool. I don't know where the other one is. I had it started with something nearby and they just have these little metal clips so it's all metal and glass and that rubber um, seal so these are called WEC jars and that is Whitehall Kitchen and I have a coupon code for them so make sure you message me um, and I can't see the messages in the live when I get done it doesn't save so you have to like send me a message or when it gets on the replay, post it on there. Cause um, we learned that the other night that I can't go back and see the messages um, for your comments right now. So unless he reads them out loud, I don't get to see them. Okay. Yeah, so just let us know where you're from, what vegetables or fruits you wanna see, what questions you have. Maybe if there's a question about a a jar or a product or a paper towel or vinegar. I feel like we need to talk about vinegar every five minutes. <laughs> I know. It's like, it's so, like, just in case people are just joining in. I, I think it's right over there. Can you grab it? Yeah. The, um, the vinegar is honestly still sitting in a tub from the other night because I haven't put anything away because we have another live event this weekend. Um, I don't know if I know the time off the top of my head, but we'll be announcing it. It is Saturday the 13th. I think we're going live at 3.30, but I, Seattle time. Um, but I need to double check that. But it's next Saturday the 13th. We're going to do a whole nother live like we did the other day um, in front of a whole group of people. Uh, the vinegar I use, I, I have this smaller glass bottle. I always buy it in jugs. And then I refill the smaller jars. So I just, this is just easier in the kitchen, the smaller glass one. But the gallon size is only like $4. These are like $3. So it's just cheaper to buy the bigger jugs. And I always get distilled white vinegar. And it's the 5% in the United States. In Australia, I'm not sure if it's the um, UK also, but in Australia, we found out that you're looking for 4.5% acidity where ours is 5% in the United States, you do not want the 7 or 8% um, vinegar that's for cleaning. It's not for food, it's for like cleaning your shower. So anyways, again, I buy the smaller bottle, the bigger one is cheaper. Um, I buy the smaller one and refill it. So, and this lasts forever. Like this is um, 2025. So like it lasts another three years almost, so. Um, you can't buy too much. Okay. Questions? We're going to yeah. go over celery and carrots. Here yeah, not, not, do you want questions that are not fruit or vegetable related? Sure. So, storing homemade soup in the freezer, glass containers or plastic containers? Ooh. Super cute cubes. Um, I'm going to talk about that in a second. If you're doing it in glass, look at my hands all orange. It's going to be crazy. If you're doing it in um, glass, I don't have a narrow, here, oh, this is a, just in case people are, this one's 
even better. If you're storing in glass in the freezer, you want to make sure it's the wide mouth um, that only has this short elbow and not a narrow mouth one. Um, but these are even better. These are pint and a half um, jars and they're super straight. So if you only filled it up, I would only fill it up to about here where it says two cups and then that way as it freezes, it will go up. Um, it will expand a little bit and then you can put the lid on. I normally put, um, ooh, I have like a bazillion things going through my brain all at once. <laughs> um, I know I take the soup and I put it in the fridge first and fill it up so it cools down to fridge temperature before I put it in the freezer. Um, last year at Thanksgiving, we got in a little hurry and I lost like four, four jars of turkey broth. It was so sad. Um, cause I got in a hurry and I didn't bother to find the, the wide mouth jars. I just put them in narrow ones thinking that they were okay. And I had never broken a jar before. And I broke like three of our turkey stock last year, which was really sad. And turkey stock, we're going, well, we're going to do chicken stock, um, in the next week or so. And then that way you'll know how to save your, um, turkey carcass and be able to make bone broth with your turkey, um, stock when it's time. I think there was another question and I forgot to answer. Oh, I know what it was. And then um, Super Cubes, um, they're like silicone that you can buy. Um, you can store um, soup in that. And they have like a two, um, two cup portion and a bigger portion and smaller ones are ice cube trays. And then as you freeze them, then you freeze them, like flash freeze them. And then you can put them in bags um, or something else that would make them um, easier to store. So super cube, imagine like a big ice cube tray. Yeah. Like a big Yeah, two cup ice cube tray. Right. Is what it is. And then um, people people want to know what is being stored in the cabinets behind you. <laughs> Just wait until you see my pantry someday, you guys. Like this is nothing. Um we can do that. Let me let me cut this one carrot and wash my hands because my hand is orange and the shirt and nuts. So I just want to show you how I did this part with the carrots. That's not the bigger one. So when I'm um, when I'm doing carrots or celery, I keep a bag going in the freezer. So I keep all the peels for this in the bag. And as soon as this bag is full, whatever bag I'm working on, that's when I make um, stock. So, um, which we're going to teach you for Thanksgiving. So make sure as you're cutting celery, like the ends pieces of the celery and the middle parts, and not the, the um, not the end end, not the root end, like this end, the top end. Um, I put those in the freezer and I put the peels. I don't put this end of the carrots in. I put the, just the peels in. So these carrot ends I put in the um, chicken bowl. And then I cut these in sticks. I'm just gonna do this real quick. I should grab a different knife. Ooh, I had a little shaky. You guys make me a little nervous, but I'm really, really excited that you're all here because it's even harder to talk to yourself um, without people asking questions. Okay, what was the other question after the celery? I wanted to do this. Oh, what's behind me in the cupboards? I will show you. I don't need to go into detail, just like a quick, I'll show them, yeah. you know, the nickel tour. The nickel tour. <laughs> the big tour is on Patreon. A whole other room of stuff. That's cool. Really hey, while we're in, put in the comments, just tell us if you've started this, if you've done it. And if like, what's the longest you've gotten something to last? Okay, so I normally cut them in sticks like this. Normally, if I'm being really OCD about it, oh, look, I make them so they're like perfect and they fit this way. I kind of <laughs> did. I, I saw the tape did. measure. <laughs> I can eyeball it, but anyways, I normally have one of these containers that have carrots or carrots and celery in it in the fridge, and then we can just grab it as snacks. These are all washed and... Um, I just haven't done anything with them. Somebody started last night. Last night? Whoop, whoop. 
Did you see the two hour live with all the deets? Anyways, I do it this way and then it's just really simple if we want them smaller. We can just cut them smaller, but um, just like this, no paper towel and I put them in the um, refrigerator. And then, again, just we got food teeth. Ooh, people are starting, <laughs> they said they're, bless you. Sorry, hold on. Raspberries are on week three. That's really good for raspberries. Don't mind me as I wash my hands. Keep talking to them. Well, so, uh, small cucumbers look like over a week. Uh, just started tonight. Starts this weekend. Not done though. Maybe. Don't put it off till tomorrow because it's going to be a busy week, right? <laughs> Oh, behind me. What are we? Oh, doing? cucumbers. Well, we'll go. Remind me about cucumbers. What, okay. do, what did we just get done doing? I don't know. Carrots. Celery. Carrots. We just did. So yeah, we chopped up the carrots and celery. I did celery. some different tips on the celery and carrots. I did a whole. Section Ooh, here's a good on one. Here's a good comment. Video. My kids eat way more fruits and vegetables now that they're all prepped and See? easy to grab and go. Right, because snacks come from the fridge. <laughs> Strawberry method two weeks ago. Uh, strawberries are lasting like three weeks. Awesome. This is super helpful. Yeah, and it's not that we're trying to keep things in the fridge forever. It's just like it just you're gonna eat it. That's the whole point. Right. It's like keep things so that you can eat them because. You know, I don't want them to okay. have to throw Let's it away. Here real quick and then this is just a little, a little portion. So we have um, pears and then peaches and green beans. And those are beets and carrots. These are all home canned. They're not just put in the jars. So I get that question a lot. Like there's a whole process for this. Like you need a canner. Um, we'll probably do some videos later um, after the holidays. Not before the holidays for sure, but this food is not just put in a jar. It's it's processed. Yeah, just to clarify, yeah. <laughs> all of these jars of stuff is kept in the refrigerator. Yeah. The jars that we're looking at in the white cabinet right now have be all been canned properly. Right. Uh, that is tomato sauce and tomatoes. I did 150 pounds of tomatoes this year. It, it was not. She's not exaggerating. There's a lot. Of <laughs> And pickled beets and pickles, and then there's a whole bunch more in the other cabinet. And I know somebody that's a canner is going to say something. You normally don't keep them in light. I have a whole other pantry room that has um, can jars in them, and um, and they're beautiful, and I like them. And so we are keeping them in here, and we're rotating them and using them. So the ones that are in here are the ones that I would be using first. So before I use them out of the other room. Um, and then some of them are from last year, too, because you can can um, two seasons ahead. So, questions? So, do you use a pressure can or a water bath? Both. It Both. Depends. It depends on what you're doing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's not one size fits all. It's right. very specific and it has to be very, Process. it's very technical. I only do safe canning recipes. Um if you're interested in starting before the holidays, let me know and I can send you to some of my favorite canning people. Um, otherwise, I'm going to be doing some like beans and um, different things that I normally do in the winter time. I'm going to can them in January. I'll start canning and doing some, some videos on that. So we're coming up on an hour. What? Yeah. No way. Yep, we're coming up on an hour. So, uh, you guys want more? Let us know if... <laughs> If we, if you want to continue the marathon, do you want to stay? Green beans are <laughs> quite a trick. Uh, uh, in Patreon, can you go? Ooh, gosh, I'm trying to keep up here. Can you go back and see videos, or is it live stuff only? Oh no, there's there's extra stuff. There's live stuff. There's extra coupons. Um, we just started all of this, remember, four months ago. So Patreon, we just started two weeks ago, but um, they get extra info all the time. Um, so we're almost at an hour. So Instagram cuts us off. It sounds like we might be staying. I just want everybody to remember, I cannot see any of the questions um, that you've asked. So if he hasn't read them aloud, 
Um, I can't see them on the replay. They they don't show them for me. I know there's a way that we can do it with a second screen, but we haven't figured that out yet. So if you've asked a question and it isn't answered, make sure that you um, message me. Oh, he just Sorry, <laughs> I totally bumped it. <laughs> that you message me or when we put this on the replay that you ask the question there. Um, so it looks like we might have to... So grab. let me know. There's Hit the... Uh, Hit some likes, thumbs up, say yes, we want to go for longer, let me know, and we'll uh, we'll see if we're going to stop this and go another little while. Are people wanting to stay? Yes? Yeah? I think we'll do a pomegranate right at the beginning of the second video. All right. Longer, people. Are, okay. Longer. All right. So stay tuned. Keep going. Just, okay. We'll take a five minute break. We'll before. take we'll take a break. We'll we'll uh, get a glass of water, yes. and we will be back in like in, five minutes. in five minutes, and we'll start off with a pomegranate. So get your questions ready, pomegranates. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs>